Well, what's up guys welcome back to another mcoc crystal opening and as you can see not on my account uh my teammate recorded this sent it to me uh he's opening up 10 featured five star crystals i do believe i haven't watched the video yet um so this is going to be my first time watching it uh so yes um not sure who all he gets other than two champions because he did mention two of the champions that he got uh, so those won't be a surprise to me, but other than that, I have no idea who he ended up getting. Uh, so I don't know if he, um, who all he duped uh, like this. I'm guessing this is going to be a duplicate champ here. Um, yes, and it is first time awakening him, which I, yes, I pulled a, um, uh, Ultron from one of my crystals, uh, um, wait a minute. Actually, I'm trying to think. Was he in the last? Oh, okay, okay. That's what that was. So that was the last featured uh, uh, five-star crystal. So he's actually going to open up up um, 11 total. So one from the last one. So that one was from doing the symbiote difficulty. And then uh, these are the 10 that he's buying. Um, yeah, I was looking at that and I was like, wait a minute. I know I got him. Uh, one of the times that I opened up. So on his very first crystal, he um, of the new feature five star crystals, he gets a five star uh, Omega Red, which was one of the champions that I was going for. I did get Korg. Get, um, uh, I'm sure most of you have seen that if you're watching this video. Uh, but yes, I did get Korg, and I'm I'm I mean I was happy with that because uh, I definitely could have just gotten all crap champions uh, but yeah Korg he does need to be awakened well he doesn't necessarily need to be awakened if you want to place him on defense uh, but yeah it really helps especially if you have him at a high sig level but I'm not going to use my feature crystal or not my feature crystal my uh, generic awakening gem on him so he did get a new brand new uh, Carnage which is um, at this point a good pool because of the recent buff that he's had uh, when I got my carnage I was uh, pretty disappointed and I ended up taking on a rank 3 just because I didn't have any other champion well I, I did have a couple other champions but uh, yeah not I didn't have uh, good choices when it came to taking cosmics to rank 3 and I actually just today took my um, five star King Groot to rank three. So now I have one more cosmic that's rank one, and that is uh, Unawakened Superior Iron Man. Uh, wake, or he got a duplicate Rhino there, um, which mine is also Awakened. So he's, um, you know, got two good champions. Uh, one crap champion there and of course in this other crystal uh, just depending on how you feel about Ultron uh, I think he's still good for or decent when it comes to like map 5 alliance quest uh, so yeah he's getting Korg right there so we'll see he got two good champions uh, one defensive one offensive uh, of course you could use Omega Red for defense but uh, yeah most people are going to use him for offense he's got that poison immunity and the reduction and bleed by 90 percent uh pretty sure so um he actually runs suicide so that's really good for him because he's going to get some really good regen when it comes to the uh the bleed at the beginning of the fight and of course he not going to take any damage from poison because he's poison immune so getting a cosmic spider-man and duplicating him and i missed that if that was awakened or not i'll have to actually go back in the video to see if he awakened him or if that was just taking him up a few sigs um but yeah i uh, i'm not sure might not mind awakening my uh symbiote spider-man then i can place him on defense uh, but yeah, I mean, he hits decently hard, so good champion to have an arena. You see, he got to go so 
three out of the four champions that I wanted. Ghost being the top one that I wanted, so I, I didn't get her. But, yeah, that's a really nice one for him. As, well, like I said, he's running double suicide, so at the beginning of the fight, if you don't awaken her, then in a the fight you can dash back and um, get rid of those, the um, bleed and poison. Um, and then, yeah, she hits really hard, especially having suicides. Uh, that plus 60% attack, you know, on top of the, I'm, I'm not sure how much attack she gains with the synergies, uh, but yeah, he's, she's going to hit really hard with those suicides that he has. So very curious to see, I'll have to ask him after uploading this or after recording this, maybe I'll ask him and then like type in there what his response is, but which champion he ends up taking decides to rank up would it be Omega Red or would it be um, uh, Ghost I'm gonna go with Ghost just because of how hard she hits but then again he does have that Corvus um, but yeah I mean he could take Corvus and take Ghost and just have two monsters you know when it comes to attack uh, but yeah we'll, we'll see um, so up next, I'm actually not sure what number crystal we're on right now. I have to see after this. So just missing awakening that Korg, getting uh, Captain America there, which is one of the champions that I ended up getting. So I opened up three of these crystals. So Korg, Captain America, and who was who was the last one? I'm not 100% sure. So this is going to be the final crystal here. And then I believe he shows off his roster, which he has over 70 five-star champions right now. Um, yeah, let's see what this final crystal is going to be. And it is a Daredevil. Um, so nothing exciting there. But he did get some really good champions in this uh, opening. Like I said, Ghost, um, Omega Red, and Korg. Of course, Korg being the main one that really needs to be awakened. I mean, he, there is some difficult components when it comes to fighting him uh, on defense, even if he's not awakened. But the really big damage, or strike back damage, is going to come when he is awakened. So let's take a look at his five-star roster. And I'll go back afterwards and uh, count. I'm just curious what all five-stars he has. Um, oh, he has Captain America Infinity War, has the Hyperion, and then there's his, let's see, seven brand new champions. So going over his roster, the six stars, um, not really good pulls there. The Yondu and Sentinel are, are uh, probably the best there. Um, when it comes to the five star Medusa, Ghost Rider Domino, really good attackers with Dom uh, Domino and Medusa being good defenders as well. Hulk, I know he mentioned if we do get rank down tickets, he would like to rank down Hulk. Uh, Modoc not being the defender that he used to be, but still can be annoying. You see, he did get the vision offer, which I was going to get, but I need to save all my units for war, otherwise, I would have gotten them. Um, Killmonger, a champion that I would like to get as a 5 or 6 star, just mainly because of the synergy with Void. Um, uh, Hyperion, uh, one of my favorite champions when it comes to attack, but I haven't been using him because he's not a 5 star. Loki has always been a personal favorite of mine, but I, I have little use for him when it comes to war. I tried, but I, I, I just can't justify taking him to war anymore. Uh, Ultron, I used to use him a lot when it came to AQ, but not so much these days. Uh, Captain America, Inf uh, Infinity War, I know he has a very strong special 2. Um, really would like to pull him as a 5 or 6 star. Spider Gwen, I actually saw somebody took him to, took her to rank 5. I'm sure you guys heard of that as well. Dormammu, I thought about taking him to rank 4, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, if I don't get any good pulls, then maybe that will happen. Corvus Glaive, I uh, really like to get him as a 5 or 6 star. I got my 6 star opening coming up today, so hopefully that does happen. Blade, using him much and much less these days, uh, more so using him towards uh, quest and um, 
uh, AQ, not so much war these days, Spider-Man, um, Stark Enhanced, I used to use him whenever I see a, a skill on the Node 24, but now with the introduction of Korg, I can no longer rely on him because he will not do much damage against Korg. Korg is a good defender even when not awakened. Um, the awakened ability gives him that strike back uh, damage, but the really annoying part about fighting him is that you don't want to attack into his block or evade his basic attacks. Uh, otherwise, you're going to give him those crowd excitements, which is going to make your fight uh, a little bit harder, a lot harder. And that's uh, certain cases. Uh, Carnage is... Um, he's been buffed, and I really like the buffs, but he's more geared towards longer fights, which I no longer have any of those, so I can't imagine taking him past rank 3 anytime soon. Uh, Omega Red and Ghost, I just confirmed with my teammates, my mans, that uh, between the two, he would definitely go with ghost over omega red omega red he said uh, looks interesting but he doesn't have the awakening gem uh, to awaken him whereas ghost she doesn't need to be awakened because um, her awakening ability says at the start of fight she begins phasing by two or begins phasing for two seconds which you can easily do by dashing back and start a fight and then when opponents miss generate five percent of max power her miss which is indeed helpful when it comes to uh, getting to that L2 but you know it she still does a lot of damage without it um, but yeah personally between the two I would like ghost as well um, if I did get both I would also go with ghost when it comes to taking her to rank 4 or even rank 5 um, so yeah, today I will be opening up my 6 star crystal once uh, arena rewards come in I'll have enough to purchase the 6 star crystal. I'm really hoping for that Corvus. If I don't get Corvus then uh, you know possibly Domino, um, Captain America Infinity War, um, maybe uh, Killmonger which I mentioned earlier. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, anyways guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.